You may remember a few months ago, I did a video on this. Uh, this is the uh, homebrew, my homebrew coil for the Chameleon SS25 S25 foot stainless steel whip. Uh, this 40 meter loading coil lets you use the entire length of the whip on the 40 meter band. You may want to check that video out. It's a fun little project and you will learn a bit about making your own coils. But for those that may not have the inclination, the tools or ability to build their own coil, there is this. Uh, this is Chameleon Antenna's M25 coil. The M20, Chameleon Antenna saw the need for a 40 meter loading coil for their SS25 whip and produced a commercially available version of the homebrew coil. Upon first look, you're going to notice some key differences uh, between the M25 and my homebrew coil. Notably, the durable metal construction, the compact size, and these little holes right here along the top and the bottom. Uh, if you add a short jumper to the, um, uh, with four mill millimeter banana plugs uh, to this coil, uh, you can uh, bypass the coil. Bypassing the coil lets you set up and tune the whip as a resonant quarter wave radiator on 20 meters and above. When you want to operate on the 40 meter band, you remove the jumper and fully extend the whip for a resonant radiator on the 40 meter band. And that's a good thing because if you can get more whip in the air and use less coil inductance to compensate, your antenna's overall efficiency will increase. Now the coil and whip combination can be added to Chameleon's blank adapter or ground spike for a ground mounted uh, antenna operation. Or as I'm going to demonstrate today as an elevated radiator using a tripod and elevated counterpoise. The Chameleon M25 coil is a rugged high performance 40 meter loading coil designed to dramatically expand the frequency coverage of your vertical antenna system. It's the perfect companion for the SS25 25 foot telescoping whip and integrates with the M Pass Ready basic vertical configuration to create a resonant base loaded vertical antenna on 40 meters. The coil features a 3 8 by 24 thread base and a 3 8 by 24 receptacle so it can fit between the chameleon blank adapter and whip. There are 4 millimeter holes along the top and the bottom to accept an optional jumper wire to bypass the coil for operation on bands 30 meters and above. The ruggedly constructed coil is made in the USA and rated for 200 watts sideband and 100 watts CW or digital operation. Now Chameleon did send me their M25 coil in exchange for a video, video review. My comments are my own and without any outside influence. So let's put Chameleon's M25 coil on the air and see how it operates. This is Kilo Bravo 9, Victor Bravo Romeo, parks on the air. Here is it. November, Whiskey Uniform, 5, Delta. Mike, Mike, Sierra. The Whiskey 5, Mike, Mike, Sierra, Nice 5, 9, Wisconsin, uh, US 4352. Back to you. QSL, QSL, Michael. Hey, I'm glad to hear you out there. You're a good 5, 9 down here in Texas, Tango X-ray. All right. Hey, thanks a lot for Texas today. Really appreciate it. Uh, you have a great day and 7-3. Seven, 7-3. Three. Seven, three. And then was there a November something station? November Uniform 1 Delta. There we go, November Uniform 1 Delta. It's been a while. 5-7 Wisconsin, US 4352. Back to you. Uh, hey, 
Michael. Uh, nice to hear you today. You're five nine. Very nice signal into the state of Maine this afternoon. Mike Echo. Uh, glad you found a clear spot through the contest. Over. Hey, Roger. That yeah. There's a, <laughs> a lot of activity on the band uh, this afternoon. So um, yeah, uh, good to be out here and um, getting this park on the air. So thanks a lot for the contact. Hey, seventy three. Uh, just curious, what uh, what antenna you're running this time? I've got the uh, the uh, Greg uh, KJ6ER's performer set up. Um, we're going to be uh, running 20 meters for a little bit, and then I'll be dropping down to 40 probably in about a half hour. Uh, QSL, yeah, sounds great. I'll, I'll see if I can get you there, but you're sounding really good on 20, so uh, I'll leave you to it. 73, Michael, thanks a lot. All right, hey, thanks a lot for the contact. Uh, you have a great day, 73. All right, bye-bye, Mike, thanks. This is Kilo Bravo 9, Victor Bravo Romeo Parks on the air. Whiskey 7, Hotel Alpha Delta. Whiskey 7, Hotel Alpha Delta, 57 uh, Wisconsin, US 4352. Back to you. Roger the 57. You're also a 57 here to Whiskey Yankee, Wyoming. And thank you so much for the videos. 73. All right. Hey, thanks a lot for Wyoming today. Really appreciate it. Yeah, you too. You have a great day. 73. All right. We're going to move on down to 40 meters. KB9 VB are going to be QRT on 20. Oh, yuck. Noise. Yeah, I also got a bunch of noise on that frequency. I got 24. Bravo 9, Victor Bravo Romeo, parks on the air. Here is it. November 8, Uniform Whiskey. November 8, Uniform Whiskey. Hey, nice 57 Wisconsin, US 4352. Back to you. Roger, Roger, Michael. 55, Oscar Hotel. Thanks for the activation. Thanks for Ohio. You have a great day in 73. 73. Kilo Bravo 9, Victor Bravo Romeo, parks on the air. Here is it. Whiskey 2 Golf Romeo, uh, nice 57 Wisconsin, US 4352. Back to you. Hi, Michael, well, thank you. You're about a 55 here in uh, Western New York. Uh, nice to talk to you again. Have a good time, 73. All right, hey, thanks for Western New York. You too, you have a great day, 73. Kilo Bravo 9, Victor Bravo Romeo, parks on the air. Cures it. Whiskey Bravo 9, Bravo Lima Alpha. Whiskey Bravo 9, Bravo Lima Alpha 57, Wisconsin, US 4352. Back to you. Copy that, Mike. Uh, finally got to get you uh, on the photo. But you are a 59, 59 in India, November. All right. Well, hey, thanks a lot for Indiana. Yeah, good to get you in the log finally. So uh, you have a uh, great day in 7 3. 7 3. That's on activating. <laughs> Will do. Kilo Charlie 1, Whiskey, Foxtrot Lima, good afternoon, 5-7 uh, into Wisconsin, U.S. 4352, back to you. You are 5-5, five, 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 All right, hey, thanks for the 5-5. Five, five. You have a great day in 7-3. Thank you, 7 <laughs> Take care. Kilo Kilo 4, is it Sierra Papa India? The Kilo Kilo 4 again? Kilo Kilo 4, Sugar Queen United, Sugar Queen United. There we go, Kilo Kilo 4, Sugar Queen United, 57 Wisconsin, US 4352. Back to you. Uh, you are about a 59 into Tennessee, Tango November. Hey, thanks for Tennessee today. You have a great day, 7 3. Kilo Bravo 9, Victor Bravo Romeo, parks on the air. Kilo 5, Kilo Romeo Juliet. Kilo 5, Kilo Romeo Juliet, 5-8 Wisconsin, US 4352. Back to you. 
USL, you're in clear 5-7 into Nashville, Tennessee, and I appreciate your videos on YouTube. All right. Hey, well, thanks a lot for Nashville today. I really appreciate it. Uh, you have a great day in 7-3. 7-3. That went pretty well. 57. 24 of them were on the uh, 20 meter band. And uh, the balance were on uh, 40 meters. 40 meters is doing really well with the uh, Chameleon M25 coil. So um, if you like to use the full sized whip um, with your, for, your 40, you know, for your 40 meters, uh, the full 25 feet, you gotta have that M25 coil. So what do I think about Chameleon's M25 coil? This is the uh, uh, 40 meter coil for the SS25 stainless steel whip. And really, it does precisely what it is supposed to do. Uh, not a whole lot more you can say about it. Um, construction and durability, I, I believe, are top notch on here. Uh, it's small, compact size. Well, it takes up a little bit less space in my kit um, as, as compared to the, uh, the homebrew coil that I built. And also, I think it's, it's got a level of ruggedness that I really appreciated. Uh, when you get the 25 foot whip fully extended, it does tend to sway a little bit. Um, and this, I think the, the, this compact nature and, and ruggedness of this M25 coil really helped in providing a stable connection point. Uh, for that whip when it is fully extended. So top marks on durability and ruggedness. Operation, it does exactly what it did. Fully extended. Um, I had a beautiful um, uh, SWR for the 40 meter band uh, when I was using this in the elevated fashion. It works just as fine as a ground mounted, um, in as a ground mounted um, antenna option. So, you know, it's, it, um, it does its job uh, really, really well. Uh, <laughs> nothing, nothing I could say about uh, complaints. Uh, I don't think there was anything I could really complain about. On the air performance, uh, comparable to what I was experiencing with my homebrew coil, nothing wrong there. Uh, great signals on the 40 meter band uh, when I'm uh, had when I was uh, evaluating the coil over the air. You know, it pulled in those signals, good, strong. Uh, local regional coverage on 40 meter, a little bit of um, longer, um, longer skip that um, you're going to see with the um, elevated vertical antenna. If you've got a Chameleon 25 foot whip, you don't want to build your own coil. This is a great addition to your vertical antenna kit. It's going to serve you well and get you on the 40 meter band, which is, which is the whole purpose of it. So. Um, that's my review of Chameleon's M25 uh, 25, uh, loading coil for the SS25 25 foot stainless whip. Uh, you can find these online, chameleonantennas.com or your, your favorite uh, amateur radio retailer. They should have them in stock also. Uh, questions, comments, uh, leave them down below. I'd love to hear what you think about the M25 coil, uh, your experiences with it or other uh, loading coils for the um, for 40 meter operation. Uh, but th that's it for this time. I'm Michael in KB9 VBR. You have a great day in 7-3.